today's battlefield is a complex mixture of air power and land power. New technology has resulted in faster, deadlier weapon systems and the use of depleted uranium munitions and armor. Although technology has altered the face of battle, the individual soldier's confidence and equipment effectiveness still determine mission success. Depleted uranium is a very dense, inexpensive, easy to shape metal, which provides excellent protection against conventional munitions. The same qualities that make depleted uranium excellent defensive armor turn lethal when used as offensive munitions. During Operation Desert Storm, tanks and attack aircraft fired depleted uranium kinetic energy penetrators, which easily destroyed Iraqi armor. Other nations recognize the value of depleted uranium and are developing or already have depleted uranium munitions. In the future, combat engagements, accidents, or equipment malfunctions may result in contaminated equipment. Depleted uranium contamination will not stop the mission unless the vehicle is destroyed or inoperable. On the battlefield, maintenance operations are evaluated in terms of MET-T, mission, enemy, troops, terrain and weather, and time available. As unit maintenance specialists, you must know when and how to manage depleted uranium contaminated equipment. As chemical and medical specialists, you must advise commanders how to control contamination. The objective of this video is to describe contaminated and damaged equipment management. Management consists of six phases incorporating ten procedures. The six phases are 1. Eminent threat or combat. 2. Recovery 3. Evacuation 4. Retrograde 5. Reclamation 6. Repair Phase 1. Eminent Threat or Combat During this phase, damaged equipment is identified and evaluated. Equipment that can be repaired quickly is repaired and returned to the battle. Phase 2. Recovery. During this phase, damaged and contaminated equipment is covered to prevent spread of contamination and moved to a unit maintenance collection point for damage assessment and repair. Phase 3. Evacuation. During this phase, damaged equipment is moved to the division maintenance facility. They will perform a detailed damage assessment and repair the equipment if possible. Phase 4 retrograde. In this phase, damaged equipment that has not been repaired is moved to the core or echelon above core maintenance facility. An Army contaminated materiel retrograde team will identify disposition alternatives for contaminated equipment if it cannot be repaired. Phase 5, reclamation. In this phase, damaged and contaminated equipment is decontaminated at an Industrial Operations Command designated facility prior to depot level repair. Phase 6, Repair. During this phase, damaged equipment is restored and reissued to military units. The 10 procedures include 1. Notify your unit chemical and medical personnel that you suspect depleted uranium or low level radioactive contamination. Identify the type of equipment and the location. Request assistance if needed. 2. Put on your protective mask and clothing to avoid personal contamination. 3. Perform a visual inspection following prescribed procedures to identify any unexploded ordnance. This ordnance may or may not retain its normal shape and may explode without warning. Only explosive trained personnel should handle damaged ordnance. 4. Isolate suspected contaminated equipment away from bivouac areas, medical treatment facilities, and any other personnel concentrations. 5. Complete a radiological survey. Use the ANVDR-2 with a standard probe or the ANPDR-77 radiac meter with the beta flat pancake probe to identify beta and gamma contamination. 
Use the ANPDR-77 with an alpha probe to identify alpha contamination. Place the white atom sign on contaminated equipment. Mark the type, dose rate, and time of measurement on the sign with a grease pencil. 6. Separate contaminated equipment from uncontaminated equipment. Place contaminated equipment in a marked location and return uncontaminated equipment to the unit. 7. Complete operational decontamination in accordance with doctrine. Radioactive decontamination methods include brushing, vacuuming, and washing. Small pieces of equipment that cannot be repaired nor decontaminated are packaged, marked, and turned in to your supply section for disposal. 8. Repair equipment using procedures described in Joint Service Manual, Battlefield Damage Assessment and Repair. These procedures include covering over fixed contamination or patching holes with paint, cardboard, tape, or any available material. Unrepairable equipment is marked, secured, and left for specially trained teams or destroyed in place. Notify higher headquarters of the location and equipment type if the commander decides to destroy equipment in place. 9. Based on MET-T and commander's guidance, decide whether to use damaged and or contaminated equipment to complete the mission. 10. Prepare and submit an NBC-4 report identifying the location, type, and level of contamination of damaged, destroyed, or repaired equipment. To summarize, there are six phases. 1. Imminent threat or combat. 2. Recovery. 3. Evacuation. 4. Retrograde. 5. Reclamation. 6. Repair. And 10 procedures involved in contaminated equipment management. 1. Notify unit chemical and medical personnel. 2. Put on protective mask and clothing. 3. Perform visual inspection. 4. Isolate equipment. 5. Complete radiological survey. 6. Separate contaminated from uncontaminated equipment. 7. Complete operational decontamination. 8. Repair equipment. 9. Decide whether or not to use damaged and or contaminated equipment. 10. Prepare reports. Remember, unless the vehicle is destroyed or otherwise inoperable, contamination will not interfere with mission completion. Three additional videos are available through your training support center, which discuss management operations. 1. Depleted Uranium Hazard Awareness, PIN 710493, TVT 3-92. 2. Battlefield Damage Assessment and Repair, PIN 701358DA. TVT 9-294. 3. The UXO, Unexploded Ordnance Hazard. TVT 9-266. Pin 709919. If you have specific questions concerning U.S. Army Contaminated Material Recovery Team Deployment or Management of Contaminated Material, contact Commanding General, AMC COM. Attention. Chief Radioactive Waste Disposal Office, Rock Island, Illinois, 61299-6000, DSN 7931767, or commercial 309-782-1767. If you have questions concerning radiological, chemical, or biological contamination identification and decontamination, contact Commanding General. U.S. Army Chemical School. Attention, Director, Edwin R. Bradley Radiological Laboratories, Fort McClellan, Alabama. DSN 865-4489. Commercial 205-848-4489. If you have questions concerning battle damage assessment, repair and recovery, or BDAR procedures, contact Commanding General. U.S. Army Ordnance Center and School. Attention, Chief of Recovery Division, VDAR. 
Aberdeen Proving Grounds, Maryland, 21005-5201, DSN 298-2765, or commercial 410-278-2765. If you have any questions concerning unexploded ordnance, contact your local explosive ordnance disposal detachment. <laughs> 